Now leave us. My Lord Protector. The King has no true-born sons. Joffrey and Tommen are Jaime Lannister's bastards. So, when the King dies... The throne passes to his brother, Lord Stannis. So it would seem. Unless... There is no unless. He is the rightful heir. Nothing can change that. And he cannot take the throne without your help. You would be wise to deny it to him and to make sure Joffrey succeeds. Do you have a shred of honor? You are now Hand of the King and Protector of the Realm. All of the power is yours. You need only reach out and take it. Make peace with the Lannisters. Release the imp. Wed your daughter to Joffrey. We've plenty of time to get rid of Stannis, and if Joffrey seems likely to cause problems when he comes into his throne, we simply reveal his little secret and seat Lord Renly there instead. We? You'll need someone to share these burdens, I assure you. My price would be modest. What you suggest is treason? Only if we lose. Make peace with the Lannisters, you say. With the people who tried to murder my boy. We only make peace with our enemies, my lord. That's why it's called making peace. No. I won't do it. So it will be Stannis and war. There is no other choice. He is the heir. So why did you call me here? Not for my wisdom, clearly. You promised Catelyn you'd help me. The Queen has a dozen knights and a hundred men-at-arms. Enough to overwhelm what remains of my household guard. I need the gold cloaks. The city watch is two thousand strong. And sworn to defend the King's peace. Look at you. You know what you want me to do. You know it has to be done. But it's not honorable, so... the words stick in your throat. When the queen proclaims one king and the hand proclaims another, whose peace do the gold cloaks protect? Who do they follow? The man who pays them. <laughs>